Every day that a seven-time Grand Slam tennis champ shows up in your backyard to hit some balls. But that's exactly what happened today in Fairfield. Matt's V Lander and his tennis clinic on wheels was in the area today to not only play some tennis, but to help out a good cause. I, I think that uh, you used to uh, play tennis to try and make the other guy feel awful. And you try and beat him into a, into a pulp. But uh, today uh, you're trying to make your opponent feel better about their tennis. Matt's V Lander had a Hall of Fame tennis career, but now he spends three months a year on the road making stops all over North America. Today, v -Lander on Wheels stopped in Fairfield to lend a hand to a local charity. Here we go. Which side do you want? Friends and supporters of the Oyabog Tennis Academy wrote a check to not only share a court with v -Lander, but raise money for the foundation that helps impoverished children in Cameroon. It's great to, to be able to help out and have kids uh, that, n that never have a chance to play tennis in a place like Cameroon. The founder of the organization is Joseph Oyabog. He played tennis for the Cameroon national team and collegiately in Georgia. And while playing here in America, he decided he needed to do something to help others back home. And I just thought I should come up with an idea to help the other kids who could have had the same opportunity I had, if not a better chance. We started collecting dead balls from trash cans, put them together, and uh, broken rackets, and uh, we started the organization. Oyabog knows firsthand how difficult it is to get started in the game of tennis. His first racket was made from the hip bone of a cow. And so the funds in this race in this event will go towards, you know, providing for the equipment the children need, the coaches. So far, more than 5,000 children have been exposed to the program that now has 25 different locations across Cameroon. Natalie Sinkob made her way through the OTA program, and today she got a chance to show off her skills against v -Lander. It was a pleasure to come here and I know I've not watched him play because when he was still in the tour, I was young, but uh, I'm really glad to be part of this um, program today. Oyabog's Academy will celebrate its 15th anniversary this December. The goal is not only to get more children playing tennis, but to give them better opportunities in life. It's not only a way to keep them out of trouble, but it also could be a venue to uh, an education, to educational opportunities, especially for those back at home. Today's event was hosted by the Sullivan family in Fairfield. They were hoping to raise about $20,000, but a great day and a great cause. Yeah.